Okay. Well, on that lovely note, we are back. <laughs> Ooh, we get my game audio going back up, which might be a little wonky since there's nothing playing now. All right. We'll see where that takes us. Oh, no, wait, maybe there. There we go. Sorry. I got to jumping at you. I apologize for your ears if that was. Leave it up alone. You refreshed with some pills. Oh my god. I mean, if there's anything this game has taught us, that sounds like a great idea. I stand in the middle of the room, my mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. You went and got a good glass of milk. Well, that was surely something that... <gasps> Nebu! Hi! Welcome! We've been, I don't know, buying some milk, getting injected with poison by our terrifying mother. Maybe we OD'd. We don't know. It's chaos in here. Oh my god. Will you tell me or not? About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Yeah, you're pretty chipper for somebody that just like was choked to death. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, no, no and no. If I make even the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their places and that's it. Why? <sighs> Are you streaming later, Pookins? I don't remember what your schedule is. <laughs> Are you trying to come up with a reason right now? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't and I won't. Thursday, rock on. All right then. So we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Yeah. My oh my. So are we going to act like we didn't just have some like weird like death shroud flashback like this is fine? Okay. All right. Right now, I'm packing my stuff, going to move to a new apartment in the next couple of days. Oh, is that is that an exciting move for you? I hope it's like a good move. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now, I want to become a point-and-click adventure game character. Oh, preach. You know, those games have moments when you look at when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. Is this a hint? It sounds so fun. And what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? Again. Semi exciting. Yeah, well, I hope it goes well. Moving always, even when it's a good move, it is just so much work. Oh my god. It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. And want to know what and want to know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. 
You've already proven that you're able to make decisions, and I want to not continue on that road. Do what you want. Yeah, so I think maybe we are the voice inside her head each time. Do what you want. I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, uh, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. A lovely romp through our room. Hi. What? Oh, please don't look down. I don't like... I don't like the implications of looking down. It's gonna be the void. It's catching up with us, guys. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowie. There's smoke coming from your clothes. <laughs> Whatever. Physically, it's moving. Ah. Oh. Good luck with the move, Nebu. Oh my god. Do you prefer Nebu or Pookins? I just kind of switched between the two. Hey, little buddy. I carefully grab the firefly. Is that just a match? Is this firefly just a match? Are we like setting our house on fire? What? It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was an order, the firefly slowly drifts up circles around my head for a bit and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. <laughs> Poor Nebu with an elevator that is RNG with which elevator shot. Oh my god. Oh yeah, just press all the buttons at once. That sounds like good design. Nebu Pookins. Oh, dope. Nib Nib! Nebu Nebu! Oh my god! Nebu Nebu is adorable! As if it was an order, the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around. Oh, I might have already said this one. I get so distracted. <laughs> it tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Oh, so peaceful. So soothing. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. It is actually a point and click. I don't like this. I don't, I don't like that. I mean, I love point and click, but it's going to spook me. I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling at least 300 feet off the floor. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally. And I'm definitely not worried. Not even the littlest bit. Not even a smidgen of the littlest bit. Not even for a thousandth of a percent. That's how much. I don't care. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. Yo, I'm going to use that line sometime. From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh, no, you don't. Then act normal. Well, she were in a relative sense. Oh, my God. You might have missed earlier the bats in the wall <laughs> story. We were talking about bugs, and then we were talking about how cool bats are. And then we were t I was talking about how they aren't cool when they're in your walls, which is possibly one of the, uh, maybe not the worst, but one of, but down there in the, one of the lamest apartments we've stayed in is when we had a whole goddamn family of bats living in our walls. No elevator, though. All outside steps. Were they noisy? Oh, the cat loved it. 
you could hear them, like not loud, but you could hear them chittering in the walls and the cat would go insane. They were mostly a nuisance because they were coming in through the vents and we had to capture and let out two bats and like screen up all the vents in the place. It was insane. I turned my eyes toward an inconspicuous shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it and a small towel is hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My fireflies are smart and good. They would never get in there. They know about personal hygiene. And if anyone knows about brushing teeth, it's fireflies. Bats in the walls are noisy, but not loud, just annoying. Yeah, we were mostly like worried that I don't know if they can, like, I think it's done by state, whatever. I know a bunch of wildlife stuff because I'm a big wildlife dork. Uh, <laughs> but we didn't want like maintenance to close the hole up because they would just die in there. So we waited until like forever to report it. And I don't think they did anything anyway. Like we did it until we were sure any babies would be out. Yeah, I like bats. But uh, as Emmy's saying, we went to bed and like we woke up with bat. We woke up because the cat woke us up with a bat in our bedroom. Thankfully, nothing happened because <laughs> that was years ago but that's like totally how people could get rabies like you're supposed to go get like your shot if you were asleep in a room with a bat okay let's look somewhere else <laughs> bats god i love them but not in my personal space <laughs> nebu recommends visiting your new bat families with a home-baked pie what kind of pie do bats like? Uh, let's just go into the hearts. Let's go to the laptop. I look at my lap. I think we clicked on a thing, guys. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. A bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful, tell me about it. <sighs> I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I've spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did. Before entering the web. This game brought to you by the Internet is a Dangerous Place Commission. As thick as your finger, dust. Oh, that was, Emmy, is that your worst nightmare? Dust as thick as your finger. I've no, all depends on where you live. Are there places where dust is worse? Like, um, we're, I'm coastal. So like we have problems with like car rust, you know, and stuff and, but not that coastal, but coastal like, oh man, it, ah, it's so crazy. Where has more dust? Oh wait, we're talking about the web. Oh my God, I get so slow on this. Imagine this, you're a hamster that lives underground. That would be a mole. You have everything for comfortable living. Did you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagined. All right, so you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything comfortable for living, okay? Okay. Wonderful. And here's the situation. You're a hamster that li Okay. I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Drier conditions means more dust. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Lower answers only. You'll end up returning to that subject anyway. On one wonderful day, someone digs you up from your hamster house and brings you to the pet store. Now, 
Your new home is a cage. It's way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. And the most important part, you have a lot of neighbors here. Their cages are identical to yours, and the other hamsters look identical to you too. That means you are all the same. Apart from the fact they were born at that shop. You'll ask, what does that indicate? And I'll tell you, nothing at all. I forgot what I was talking about. Gosh. Okay, let's start over. That is the other tagline of this game. This time, try to avoid stupid hamster analogies. Hamsters aren't stupid, they're adorable. You know, I'm not at fault here. So, I had a lot of friends online. Tens, hundreds of them. Impossible to count. Is it impossible though? I had exactly 317 of them. Although, I guess nobody counts the exact number of hamsters when they walk into a pet stop, pet shop. Hey, don't get distracted. Oh, right. Things Nick's loves lists makes me want to ask a lot of questions. Oh, please feel free. I know we're here to play games, but we're also mostly here. I keep using we, the royal we, the collective, us in the chat, us, us gaming family. Uh, please feel free, ask away. I'm mostly here to socialize. From my 317 friends, 68 were into gaming, just like me. 130 of them liked drawing, just like me. The remaining 119 were into calculators and 3D modeling equally. And when I say equally, I don't mean 59 and a half friends on each side. All right. You can split numbers evenly, no problem, but math doesn't work like that when it comes to friends. A major conundrum, right? Get to the point. I knew, of course, that no real people exist on the web. That is true. All an illusion. I also understood that all my friends die the moment I turn off my laptop. But I still wasn't even a bit worried. Why? Do you know what computer programs consist of? Yes, it's black magic. It's just a combination of numbers. Which means my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Not really. Why do you call them your friends? I mean, Everyone who shares my interests is my friend, and I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyways, as I was saying, every program has its own algorithm and purpose. It's a mathematical formula. And if you solve that formula, you'll be able to predict the program's behavior at any moment. Especially VTubers, they are controlled by soulless shells of humans. That is true. On the internet, I, I could just secretly be like a cat. You don't know. Just my cat. The longer you speak, the less I follow. I'm just an AI generated by the Drink More Milk Council. You don't need to follow me around. Just listen. I sit on the floor and the laptop screen ends up right in front of me. The only thing reflected in it is my dim face. A web person is just a random picture and a random string of letters. Words and actions form the web person. They're just executable code. Hey. Let me know if you need a break. Yo, someone needs to get her the hydrate button. One day, someone appeared. From that point on, my laptop was always on. 
How's the game audio, by the way? I forgot to ask when we came back. There are no real people on the web, but he was good at pretending. At some moment, I let him trick me. Hey, look. Huh. Suddenly, a firefly slowly crawls out of the laptop's vent grill. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. All right, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll pick up when the next, like, <gasps> happens. I think it's trying to say something. I can see that myself. If only I knew what. Looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? I changed my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it has to say. Yo, I feel that. Because reminder, fireflies are her thoughts. The firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. Milk Council performing, <laughs> performing their new internet brainwashing campaign, right? Yeah, this is just them trying to be like hip. They're like, what do the kids love these days? Visual novels. Actually, it's kind of true. They're, I feel like they're kind of like bigger now. The firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. Then it starts glowing again, as if coming back to its senses. For some time, it thinks about the further course of actions, then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. And what about your story? You must be mad at me for interrupting you. I'm sorry. How long do I typically stream? About two hours. Um, so I will be finishing up here in probably like 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, I stream on Fridays, Saturdays. I, do I stream on Thursdays? I can't remember. No, I stream Friday, Saturday, Sundays. If you do everything right, I'll finish my story. Maybe. Do you promise? I promise. And if you forget? Then remind me. With a code word, for example. Oh, we got an achievement. Woo! What code word? I'll think of one later. And for now, let's keep searching for my fireflies. Oh god, I wonder how much of- oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Oh god. Let's look at the bed. <laughs> this is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. They'd want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items, close their eyes, and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently slap my cheeks to return myself to senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'll be sleeping like a log at this time, but right now, I can't. Let's continue searching. <laughs> Maybe we'll find something inside. Definitely not a corpse. Nah. My thoughts don't have a feature of putting to sleep. Quite the contrary. They always cause insomnia. Just like tonight. What? I said searching here is meaningless. Oh, we can't look at the mirror. The mirror is extra spooky. Oh god, no, it's star cells. Your usual notebook pages, glued to the wall with duct tape. Well, tape to the wall, whatever. Numbers are drawn on them. It's the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects? Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, is it? <sighs> of course.
course it's not. Shaky, broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not writing. It's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. Oh, please don't say the word mom in this game. Okay. I don't need your advice. My scream makes the pages rustle restlessly. After a moment, a firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off into a business-like flight and ends up entering my business-like ear. Hey. Let's continue searching. Mommy Milkies. <laughs> mommy Milkies inside a bag of Mommy Milk. Oh god, the vent. It's bringing back Danganronpa vibes from last night. I'm like, oh, but Silver, you said you wanted to ask so many questions, but I don't know if you asked any questions. You should totally ask some questions. Okay. Oh. Uh, we're doing it. We're touching it. I'm touching it. Oh, God. Touch it. Touch it. I can't touch it. Someone please make that game. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to play it on Twitch now. <laughs> ah. I get close to the waste bin and look inside it with curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self-respecting firefly would hide in a heap of garbage. Rock on. I feel asking questions would cause stream creeps and maybe later when you start winding down. Rock on. I know, I'm still trying to find that balance of like, um, of like chat and gaming. It's can't disagree with you here. Oh god, okay, oh! Alright, so we got hygiene, we got notes, oh at least it like, oh I know! That's like, what's up with this radio? Okay. Right, insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shelf. I sniff around. The leaves smell of dust and cardboard. And death. You know these plants are long dead, right? I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. I feel like it totally would. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know? Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw them out? Weren't you listening to me at all? <sighs> oh god, the, I feel like the alarm clock is not going to be great. I look at the alarm clock. Time continues its unstoppable flow. I don't know why you keep disappearing. You just keep coming back. I mean, like, I get, uh, it's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let out a theatrical yawn and hold my arms to the sides. One, two, then I raise them above my head. Three, four, maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. I take a hesitant stance. What was it? Heels together, toes apart. Whatever, I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Do we actually have to count down five minutes? Fine, you have a clock right in front of you, though. I can't look at its hands for too long. I want an unstoppable flow in the Mommy Milky version of this game. <laughs> I feel like those could be rap lyrics. At first, I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction, and then they disappear altogether. And then things always get messy. Last time, I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. Oh, fuck, it is schizophrenia. They pleaded for help. I think. What a mess. Truly a mess. 
It was a mess, right? Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Silver. Yay, thank you. A mess. Well, are you counting down? My God, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an hour. Huh? Forget it, do you see the firefly? No. Let's continue searching then. Oh, we got a second radio. We're just gonna let that jam. Oh, it's gone. It's not easy to get out of here. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. I looked down, my school bag worn and silly as almost screaming out of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly, its contents also regurgitating, decomposing and turning into a sticky, mushy substance. What a cool image. I need to remember this. Totally not cool. Totally not cool. Senseless and cruel. You are there, but I don't care. Hello? Is it me you're laughing at? Am I talking to myself? Is this all just in my head? What? I'll never. After all, you're not my pet. <laughs> I'm not going along with this nonsense anymore. Got it? Got it. Hey, it wasn't on purpose this time. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special. Mostly just all sorts of books. I've taken out all the pens and notebooks out of there and I'm not interested in anything else. Future karaoke stream, right? Oh, I hope to. I definitely probably will one day. It's karaoke in my car every day. <laughs> You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. I don't believe you. Are you sure you understood my question? I know, right? Never, never. Me and Emmy do need to do it, do it. It would be so good. Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong. All right, all right. What did you like the most there? Huh. Well, the rooms are really bright. Not like at home. That's it. Don't rush me. Let me remember. Well... The beds were also soft, and the food was nice. Oh, God, she was institutionalized. <sighs> By the way, I attended all the classes. The others, they always skipped. They probably got told off so hard, unless... Although, I think this game was made in a different like uh, country, so maybe there's like a... Maybe it's like a prep school or something, or... I, f I feel like there are schools where you stay there besides like college dorms in which the beds are not comfy. It's They're not, so it couldn't be that. They probably got told off so hard. I smile gently, absorbed in warm memories. You never graduated though. Did they ever, it would make sense, I know, right? Did they ever talk about the meaning of the t-shirt? No. What do you think the meaning of the t-shirt is? Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? <sighs> it was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. Ah, fuck. 
He told me that I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, the tasks were way too easy. It's a math symbol for the empty set. Oh, that sounds appropriate. I don't know what an empty set is, but it sounds like that is very fitting. Huh. Then we got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us, uh, greeted us there. We had dinner and went to our room. No. Mm. Like Nix. I guess that day has absolutely no special meaning for you? Like I told you, it was just a normal day. Tell me about it again. Is your memory that bad? I am waiting for the darkness of the void to come back at us here. Please. Oh, fine. Yeah, I'm guessing there's themes of emptiness or soullessness. Oh, yeah. This character is not okay. <laughs> that day, Dad picked me up from school earlier, explaining to me that I need to grow up. It's not like I could completely grasp what he meant. Either way, I didn't resist. We got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner together and went to our separate rooms. Satisfied. Tell me about it again. Dad dragged me out of the school building while I was scratching and biting. The teachers didn't interfere. That scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat has done? Then he pushed me into the car and we drove home in complete silence. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner together and went to our separate rooms. Please, let's not discuss this further. No. You'll tell me again. Teacher is also not. Dad bought milk on our way home. Again. I hate milk so much. Not brought to us by the Dairy Council? Mom was not home. Oh, fuck. I don't like where this is going. Again. I don't like where this is going. I hate mom so much. What happened next? Suddenly. Oh, fuck me, guys. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are we gonna... Are we, are we gonna with the spook, we're gonna have to have it with the spook. Start one. Was... Suddenly, I feel someone's eyes on my back, knowing that these moments should never be ignored. I turn around, but there's nothing there. Oh, fuck you, game. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! All right. Oh no, I'm just gonna get a little love it. What happened next? Everything that happened next happened after something that led to everything that happened after what had happened. I look at my bag again. Light pouring into the room, through the window glints on the metal parts, and there's also a shadow underneath it, which means it's real. Sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I manage to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move it even an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. It has already happened countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? 
I've spent months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. Like she's not there? You won't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see that a small insect is crawling toward me from my bag. It's barely glowing and it can't even fly. I guess this firefly is really tired. I bend down to pick it up. The firefly starts glowing brightly as soon as I touch it and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies toward me with high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter my ear. That's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, it buzzes for a little while and then goes silent. This one is kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's no longer alone. Sure, let's continue searching. <gasps> we'll continue searching next time. Oh God, I accidentally hit the thing. 